Hello everyone, my name is Cody. The guy you see on the screen is Eli, and today we have a special video. This is about how much this one great location made for our arcade vending business. So let's go ahead and get into it. Eli is wiping down the machine nice and clean. Let's go ahead and open this door up and fill it full of toys. There they are right there. We have to bring quite a bit of toys with us to this location as we got two more claw machines upstairs in the arcade. All right, and just for the record, this is a 30-day service, so let's go ahead and get to that money, but first, let's look at all those awesome toys. Got all kinds of different stuff in there. Got alien pillows and tigers and just really good stuff. We're going to first take these quarters out of the bottom. This is a two-key lock. So we're extra, extra safe. And look at that. That's a lot more than you think it is. That is $69.50. So not bad at all. Go ahead and dump it all. By the end of this video, I have a great feeling that that quarter bag is going to be completely stuffed. Let's go ahead and open this front and pull the singles out. Go ahead and pull that magazine off. Open the door. Not too shabby. So that on top of the quarters, that is $48 in cash. That brings the total to $117.50 for just this one crane. Let's go ahead and go up the steps and take a look at this arcade. This is a really cool place too. They got like animal skins and animal heads all over the wall. Animals that are not native to Missouri, but uh, still really cool. Elk heads on the wall and fish. Pretty awesome place. The double up claw. All right, the 69.50 from the crane downstairs. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the quarters a secret till we pull it from the machine and put it in the counter because you guys will sooner or later see how much our machine has made and the first one did 2350 looking pretty good if they can all do that well then we'll be in good shape go ahead and put that one back now one of these the one on the very end has just a normal key in it, it doesn't have a uh, a barrel key in it so before we've shot this this location and we didn't bring the key so that one should be pretty pretty good let's go ahead and 3850 so guys it is looking pretty well all right we'll go ahead and take that one back put it back in lock it up something Something you don't ever want to forget is to lock up the, the back of your machine, otherwise you're you're looking at some bad news. Alright, and yeah, look at that. Very, very nice. Let's take it to the scale, see what it has to say. Dump all those quarters into the bag. It's already getting it's already getting nice and full. $34. Not too shabby. We have some pennies in there, so it might dip by 75 cents or so. $33.25. Not bad at all. Go ahead and dump the rest of those. She's getting full. Look at that. 
All right, let's take the top off this superhero yo-yo balls. These are pretty cool. Take a look in there. You already see some spilled quarters, and look at that. Pretty good. Twenty-eight or twenty-eight dollars. There we are. It's about a dollar a day right there. All right, set that back. We'll check this SpongeBob yo-yo ball. Incredible that that show's been running for as long as it has. Fun fact, the first episode of SpongeBob came out on my birthday. It was first introduced to Nickelodeon on my birthday, so. Go ahead and open this. These top ones take a little while longer to uh, unlock, but there we go. Let's tip that down. Pretty dang good. All right, let's take it over to the scale. And we're looking at $21. Very nice. That's $144.25 for that entire toy rack. So, guys, that is amazing. Crazy good. We're here now at the double play. Or double up is the name of it. I guess you get a, a double play on this machine. It's a play till you win type game. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the quarters first. Got that extra security. Let's go ahead and open that door. And there we are. All right, it did very, very well. Let's go ahead, dump it. 9150, all right. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and take a look at the bill acceptor. Open that door. Let's see. Didn't do very hot on bills. You're looking at seven dollars right there. Thing is, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a thing of of tradition or something that it's fun to put a dollar into the change machine and get your quarters out. It's like a token thing, I guess, an, an arcade type feel to it. So a lot of these machines are just so many quarters and not very many dollar bills. This coin pusher. This is a McGregor coin pusher you can tell a mcgregor coin pusher from unique vending design from the side windows i don't believe unique vending design has ever done a model with side windows so kind of a fun tidbit let's go ahead and open this door and look at that that's what i want to see very very nice let's take it over to the scale And we're looking at 157.50. Awesome as always. Let's go over to the Candy Castle. This is a really cool one. We have a similar one in a Mexican restaurant. Very nice machine. I like these a lot. Let's go ahead and open this lock. Open the door. Let's pull out these quarters. Slides right out, and look at that. Oh, my God. Ninety-six fifty. Now, it did run a little low on toys. I think it would have done a little bit better if it didn't just have uh, ducks in it and, and smaller things like that. But still not too bad. And look at that. We made a dollar bill... And that's just the way it goes. Let's take this fortune and put it on top of these quarters, and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and open up this change machine. Now, we like to take the, the quarters that we made 
from the machines back into the change machine and pull the bills out and take those with us in place of the quarters. This allows us not to have to lug in a bunch of quarters to this location. It, and, and that's the same for our other locations. And, and I don't think these machines would do nearly as well if it didn't have a change machine. So we counted out the money. And Eli's going to have to scoop a couple handfuls out of it for the replacement of the bills that were taken from the change machine. So that was 11, uh, $111. But let's go ahead and take a look at this sport zone. These are one of my favorites. And the quarters are kind of stacked up on each other. Looking a little shallow. Maybe if we filled up the gumballs a little bit more, it would be a little more eye-catching, a little more aesthetically pleasing to people. But still not too shabby. Twenty-nine fifty. I mean, a buck a day, right? So, just about. Let's take a look at this driving game. Let's see what she did. This is usually the top performing game. Um, that's not a redemption or a claw or anything like that. So, this and shooting games, uh, they do very well. Or look at that, and you tell me how how you feel about it. Uh, Honestly, we could probably remove the driving game, put in a, another claw machine, and it would do better, but kind of to serve all kinds of different customers. Thir uh, 28 25 so looking again about a buck a day. Let's go ahead and drop all this in there. Just look at it. Slowly pour it in. Running out of room. All right, guys. The offer made 2825. The total collection for one hour of work was $677.50. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Goodbye.